Welcome to the update. I'm Michelle Stevenson. The flooding on the New South Wales far north coast has turned deadly. The body of a woman aged in her 80s discovered in a home in Lismore by a concerned neighbour checking on her welfare. With homes and roads still swallowed by floodwaters, there are warnings to brace for even more fatalities. Nine people remain unaccounted for. While SES volunteers from Victoria are on their way to help out with the crisis. Two men, meantime, are still missing in Queensland floodwaters. Eight people have died and at least 18,000 homes in the state southeast are damaged. Queensland's Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk says a massive clean-up operation is now underway in Brisbane as the waters recede. The rain event that Brisbane had over that two- to three-day period in total uh, is equivalent to 80% of the rainfall that we would receive in one year. Australia's committed $70 million towards missiles and ammunition to help Ukraine in its fight against Russia. Ukraine's president has accused Putin of war crimes after the Kremlin apparently used cluster and vacuum bombs reducing homes and turning schools to rubble. PM Scott Morrison says the bulk of our cash will actually be used for lethal aid. We're talking missiles, we're talking ammunition, we're talking supporting them in their defence of their own homeland in Ukraine and we'll be doing that in partnership with NATO. To New Zealand now and COVID cases are still surging. It's reporting more than 19,500 new infections. The country now has higher per capita infection levels than the UK or US during the peaks of their outbreaks. The Reserve Bank has kept interest rates on hold. It does mean the official rate has been steady at 0.1% for 17 months. And there's a major statewide internet and mobile outage in Tasmania. Two fibre cables from the mainland have been cut. Taking a look at sport and the wet weather has wreaked havoc in the first day of play in the Sheffield Shield clash at the Gabba. That's been a washout. And the Brisbane Lions have relocated south early due to flooding. And Sydney Roosters coach Trent Robertson has signed a new long-term deal at the club. He'll be sticking around until the end of season 2028. And for more in-depth sport analysis, just head to the Sport Update. In your entertainment news, now Gigi Hadid has been spotted rocking a pretty bizarre new look. The supermodel and Zayn Malik's ex was striking a pose in Paris, but without her eyebrows. They'd been bleached out for a job. Brittany has posted a series of naked pics to her Instagram. The photos were taken on a beach where where she's been enjoying a pretty romantic getaway with her fiancé. And Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly have added a new member to their family, the loved-up couple introducing their new cat named Whiskey to their Instagram fans. And that's the latest for the Nova Podcast News team. We'll see you tomorrow morning for another episode of The Update. I'm Michelle Stevenson.